Hey guys, what's up? As you can see, I am back at the mountain retreat. That's what my parents call my apartment. Just for a few days though. So last time I was here, I saw a sign for this bookstore and I did a little research and it looks to be pretty big. So I thought I'd go and check that out today and of course bring you guys along. Who else would I bring? I am prepared. I have my book tote bag with me. Let's get going. I'm excited. Hello everyone and welcome to Voice Over Sarah. So the bookstore's name that I ended up going to was the Green Valley Book Fair. And it's basically like this big two-story structure with stacks on stacks of books. I was really impressed because everything was super organized. But as you can see, they just had so much, especially of like the same type of book. And the prices of these books were crazy cheap. I found one of my favorite books of the year so far, Finley Donovan is Killing It for only $5.99. I feel like a fool because I had to pay full price for that book. I also saw saw A Flicker in the Dark also for only $5.99, which was another great read of this year so far. The book fair didn't have many romance or romantic comedies. I did see this one by Abby Jimenez. I also saw the Twilight series there. I haven't read this series yet. I feel like I might be a bit too old now. Like that series gives me tween 2000 era vibes. Let me know if I should pick it up. I was also really surprised to see that they had You've Reached Sam, which is another new release. I didn't end up picking it up because I really haven't been that interested to read that book, but I've heard great things about it. And here I am, you know, just browsing along. I also saw A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, loved this series. And this is the young adult section that I am browsing in now. Okay, so it is the next day, that's why I look different. I thought I'd show you all what I got from the bookstore. And can I just say, that was a really interesting bookstore. It kind of felt like they took a warehouse and converted it into a bookstore. And the prices were so cheap for books. I don't know how they do it. They must be buying these books off the black market or something. Because a lot of the books I ended up picking up were under $6. I actually think the prices are so cheap from buying overstock products or inventory that has some flaws. And then obviously buying in bulk helps. But I noticed that on some of the books, there's like a few flaws with them, which I don't mind. Like I know on one of these, I saw some ink smearing. Hopefully I got enough vlog footage. There's actually more people there than I expected there to be. And I didn't want to accidentally like shove my camera in someone's face and film them if they didn't want to be filmed. Anyways, let's get on to this book haul. I'm just taking all the books out of my bag. So the first book I ended up picking up was Jar of Hearts by Jennifer Hillier. I just realized this today, but actually the book of the month choice that I chose for this month is also by Jennifer Hillier. I know she has written a few really Really popular thrillers. I haven't read anything by her, but now I will have two books by her. I've heard really great things about this one. I know that this is Haley Hughes here on YouTube. I know that this is one of her favorite books. I don't know much about it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and read the synopsis for y'all. When she was 16 years old, Angela Wong, one of the most popular girls in school, disappeared without a trace. Nobody ever suspected that her best friend Georgina Shaw, now an executive and rising star at a major Seattle company, was involved in any way. Certainly not Kayser Brody, who was close to both girls back in high school. But 14 years later, Angela Wong's remains were discovered in the woods near Gio's childhood home. And Kayser, now a detective with the Seattle PD, finally learned the truth. Angela was a victim of Calvin James, the same Calvin James who murdered at least three other women. To the authorities, Calvin is a serial killer, but to Gio, he's something else entirely. Back in high school, Calvin was Gio's first love. Turbulent and often volatile, their relationship bordered on obsession from the moment they met right up until the night Angela was killed. For 14 years, Gio knew what had happened to Angela and told no one. For 14 years, Gio carried the secret of Angela's death until she was arrested and sent to prison. While everyone thinks they finally know the truth, there are dark secrets very deep, and what happened that fateful night is more complex and more chilling than anyone really knows. Now, just as Gio is being released from prison, the obsessive past catches up with the deadly present with new bodies beginning to turn up, killed in the exact same manner as Angela Wong. The Sounds like a really great legal thriller, and I got this for $5.99. Such a great price. All right, so the next book I picked up was Trouble in Paradise by Ellen Hildebrand. This is actually an autographed edition, which is really cool. So I kind of figured out after I bought this that this is the third book in the Paradise series. So I'm gonna have to pick up the other two before I get to this one. Sarah Crowley really likes and always talks great things about this author. So I've been wanting to pick up something by her. Hopefully I will get to read something by her soon since I know all of her books have that 
summertime vibe. They all take place on either Nantucket or Martha's Vineyard. I think the series is like a bit of a mystery series, but then there's also some romance. I'm not gonna read the synopsis because I don't wanna accidentally get spoiled. I got this for $5.99 as well. The next book I picked up was The Therapist by B.A. Paris. She's the same author of Behind Closed Doors. So this book follows Alice and Leo after they have just moved into a new house. And as Alice is trying to settle into the neighborhood and get to know her new neighbors, she starts to discover some secrets about her home. And she feels like she's developing a strong connection to the therapist who lived in the house before her. So Alice quickly becomes obsessed with trying to figure out what happened to this therapist, but her neighbors are not being very helpful. Sounds good. This I also got for $5.99. The next book I picked up is actually a relatively new release. I got Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. So I know that this is a take on And Then There Are None by Agatha Christie. So this follows six visitors as they visit an island. And according to the synopsis, this island is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean with this mysterious history of shipwrecks, cannibalism, and even rumors of murder. <laughs> I don't know why I just laugh there. I think I just laugh sometimes when I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> this island sounds like a perfect vacation spot. Who wouldn't want to stay on an island like this? And then as the group starts to get to know the island, they realize they're pretty much cut off from civilization, which is even more frightening, especially when one person goes missing and another turns up dead. It says right here on the cover that they're dying for an escape, so I'm guessing that the remaining guests are trying to figure out a way off this island. I'm getting lost the TV show vibes, especially how the synopsis kind of describes the island as mysterious, and it kind of seems like it has a mind of its own. I don't know if that's true or not, or maybe there's just someone on this island just, you know, knocking everyone off. But this I got for $6.99. The next book I picked up was When Life Gives You Lululemons by Lauren Weisberger. So this is actually the third book in another series, but I believe you can read this as a standalone. This follows characters that were in A Devil Wears Prada. I've heard mixed things about the book, but the general consensus seems to be that the movie is better than the book. And also, what's her face is in the movie? Let me look this up. I should know this. She is like one of my favorite actors, Anne Hathaway. Whenever I see Anne Hathaway, I always think about The Princess Diaries. <laughs> <laughs> Those movies were my childhood. So this book follows three women. Emily, who is an image consultant working in Hollywood. Caroline Hartwell, who is a former supermodel. And Miriam, an attorney turned stay-at-home mom as they move to the suburbs and start to navigate their new life. I thought this was a thriller at first, but I'm thinking this is more of literary fiction, which will be a nice break for in between all these thrillers. Oh, this one actually has some ink smeared. It's defective, but it kind of has character. This was my cheapest book. This was only $4. And then the last book I picked up was One by One by Ruth Ware. This reminds me a lot of An Unwanted Guest. It kind of follows like the same trope of being snowed in at a hotel. But in this book, it looks like we're following a group of coworkers as they're snowed in at a luxurious ski resort. But there seems to be some tension between the characters. To quote the synopsis, the storm brewing inside the chalet is no match for the one brewing outside. Because unfortunately, an avalanche leaves them cut off from the rest of the world and it looks like the co-workers start to dwindle one by one one by one I get it. This is probably not the best season to read this book right now. I don't know if I want to save it for the winter time though. I don't think I'll be able to wait. Yeah, it's probably not gonna happen. I got this for $6 though. So here are all the books I ended up picking up. I got all of these for under $35. I spend way more than that when I go to Barnes and Noble and buy like a few books. I'm definitely gonna have to go back there sometime. If you guys want more book shopping vlogs in the future, just let me know because I love book shopping. And if you guys encourage me, then I'll definitely do some more even though my wallet won't be happy, but I'll be happy and you'll be happy. So that's all that really matters, right? If we're gonna be broke, might as well get a literary education out of it because that makes total sense. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. It really does help me and my channel out a lot. Or you can comment, subscribe, interact in any way. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.